Well, hello. Today's word is crabby. Crabby is kind of like a bit of a difficult word because um, um, it kind of describes something very irritable or a kind of in that type of side of things. But I've also seen a lot of online the does the kind of when I put in images for crabby, I thought it'd give me some some kind of reference, some kind of idea. Everything is about crabs, so. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, uh, not what I was expecting at all. So, um, I'm gonna try and draw a crab. Uh, I don't think I've ever drawn a crab before, but, oh, my brush has gone hard. That's not good. Terrible habit, see that? Look at my brush. It's gone all hard. Hmm. Well, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a nice rough, jaggedy edge. I kind of imagine that's how crabs feel. Um, can't remember the last time I felt a crab, but um, I kind of imagine it to be uh, quite a kind of rough texture to it. So I'm gonna try and come up with a, a very rough textured character here. Give him a nice angry eye since the word being crabby. Let's put crabby crab. Today is another cold day. For some strange reason, I have seven sunflowers that have appeared in my garden. Why? It's bloody freezing out there. I thought the suns, the sunflowers came when the sun was around. We haven't seen the sun in about a zillion years down this way. But seven sunflowers have popped up in my garden. It's incredible. So, I'm just trying to get some kind of idea of what's going on here, but. Yeah, so, very beautiful. Two of them already opened. Uh, the other five are kind of in progress. But um, quite remarkable this time of year to have sunflowers in your garden. So let's get a couple of uh, angry eyes going on in there. Just to get our crab a nice angry feeling. And there we have two very angry eyes for our angry crab. I'm not sure if a crab has a nose, but oh, let me put in a sneaky one there just, just in case. In case some crab expert comes to me and says, of course, crabs have got a nose. Don't you know? Okay, so he's getting angry at something. He's all crabby crab about something going on which I'll have a think about don't know what's going on over there at the moment all I know is I've got a very unhappy crab at the moment which is cool I like that just to balance those lines off a little bit so I guess I'm guessing here that I'm gonna do some kind of lips. Um, <laughs> I guess I should know uh, before even thinking of drawing. You you think you'd you'd go and get some reference and say, "Well, what does a crab look like here?" And well, you know, 
Does a crab have lips? Mm, I guess he must eat somehow, but. I guess crabs are pretty, oh no, I mean, again, don't really know much about crabs, but I kind of get the feeling that they're quite a nasty, you know, with those big claws and you got to crunch everything up and, you know, gives me the feeling that they're really quite, quite a nasty little creature, maybe. Giving him some nasty lips. Let's do. Let's do some. Yeah, let's. Let's get some angry, menacing teeth coming on. Again, I'm. I'm gonna get loads of people writing to me saying crabs don't have teeth, you bonehead. Or something like that. But this crab has teeth, all right? He went to a lovely dentist and the dentist gave him some really cool, scary teeth. Because that's the type of dentist he is. And of course, the crabby crab was really happy with it. Oh, thank you for giving me all these big shark-like teeth. I'm going to go and menace some... Some creatures around the ocean. And that's what he did. So that's the story behind this. So if they don't have teeth, he went to the dentist and bought some. And if they do, well, he's just a, a snarly, gnarly crab. Snarly, gnarly crab. I like that. That's what we should call him. He's snarly, gnarly crab. Right. Yeah. Snarly Gnarly Crab. It's a brilliant name for him. That's one of his big gnarly snarly. What are they called? Clippers? Something like that. Whew. They are big, snarly, gnarly pincers, aren't they? Pincers, that's what they're called. Pincers. Put a little bit of a, a kind of a highlight on them because they're Pretty nasty old things. When I used to live in China, um, I lived there for, I don't know, 25 years or something. Um, they used to have like a crab season. And uh, you'd drive along the, the roads and you'd see all, all these kind of hundreds of uh, little little kind of stalls with all the people selling crabs and stuff. It was quite incredible. And uh, they really loved their crabs out there. Uh, I don't think I've ever had crab in in England. Um, I'm sure people have them. I'm sure they're very popular, but I've never had them here. And, and they have kind of like a crab season and, and all the that people have hundreds of crabs for sale. And my, my kids used to love them. So every crab season we'd get a whole kind of box of these crabs and especially my daughter. My daughter used to have a have a addiction almost to these crabs. They were so good. And obviously at the time, I mean, they're quite cheap because uh, there's so many of them. Everybody was out selling crabs and stuff like that on the side of their road.
but they wouldn't sell this one because he's too he's too nasty he's too much of a beast Following that line up there a little bit so it doesn't get too lost. Lovely. Right. I've got this kind of um oh I've got to get the other one in isn't it? I guess that's gonna come behind the body but that's on the other side I kind of remember that crabs have got like a kind of a, kind of like um like kind of dimensions underneath the body they've kind of got like like a kind of like a like panels or something like that kind of almost like like squares like that right I'm gonna have to do I'll have to do another one on this side don't I oh Look at that. Can you see it? Broke on my nib. Damn. Let's do a quick speed change like they do in the F and the Formula One, you know, they kind of go right in, start the clock. And there we have it. Pshum. Super fast these days because I'm <laughs> because I break them so damn often. Yeah, I can hear you saying it. You break a nib too often. We all in there? Yeah, we all in there. He's a real crabby crab, isn't he? Cool. That's gonna have to come back round to that. So. That's cool. Oh <laughs> man, he looks like a real nasty crab, doesn't he? They kind of got a divide somewhere, haven't they? Where they, they kind of the shell comes down like that. That's the bumpy lumpy shell on the top of in there. Oh, it's just something beautiful about ink, isn't it? Just the way it, it kind of folds onto the, the paper. It's just, just absolutely gorgeous. That's the other one there. All right, I'm gonna have to.
And that's the other little leg coming in there. I guess it's gonna come in somewhere around there. Looks like he's kind of attacking something. I wonder what I can get that's small I can put in there. I'd love to draw a prawn there, but I'm not quite sure off the top of my head what a damn prawn looks like. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't know what a crab looked like, did I? So, <laughs> um, yeah. In this case, I think he's got like kind of like. Long, kind of spindly legs like that. That's the legs on that side. That's not bad, actually, for somebody who doesn't know too much about crabs. I think that's kind of. That works, doesn't it? Yes, Kieran, it does, I hear you say. I don't get seem to get many people watching my, watching my drawing videos. Are they just too boring? Is that what it is? Is my um, talking too mad, I guess? Or is that what's, what's going on? What's going on about? What a crab looks like and adventures in China and whatever else. There's his little crabby legs there. Does anybody else out there use a, a dip pen? I know a lot of people have gone kind of digital at the at the at this time. Um, I kind of I bought a, an iPad and I kind of tried to get into it, but I don't know. I wasn't so sure about it. Why weren't you so sure about it? Well, I don't know. It kind of gave me the feeling that I was only drawing half of it and the, the, the kind of computer was drawing the other half. Kind of made me feel like I'm, I had no kind of talent or anything like that, you know. Uh, kind of looks like a crab. <laughs> That's a crab. All right, what's going on in here then? Can we can we squeeze a little fish in there? What's a fish doing? Let's do a big googly eyed fish. That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> a big googly eyed fish. There's no idea what, what are you angry about? What are you angry about, crab? That's that's doing quite quite a happy goofy fish. That'll make it more fun, wouldn't it? Hey crab, what are you crabby about? 
What's up with the old buddy? What are you so grumpy for? That's a cute little fish, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Let's give him a little back fin as well. Oh, I like that. I like that fish. He's a cute one. Yeah, cool. Give him a big tail at the back. Cool. his lovely big decorative tail at the back there cool cool what's up grumpy crab what's up crabby crab you imagine he's kind of like hey man you want to go play some pool what or underwater you daft Egypt or something like that. Can't we play underwater pool? All right, if you're gonna be so grumpy about it, I'll go and find somebody else. <laughs> And there we have our crabby crab and our happy fish. Let's call him Timothy the fish. Timothy the happy fish and crabby the super crabby crab. Let's see. Are we happy with that? Are we happy? Are we happy? Are we ha Are we happy? Right. Well, if we're happy with that, let's put a name on there somewhere. And who drew this fine, crazy piece of art? My name's Kieran Siemens, and this is Krabby Crab for the Ink October Adventure. I hope you're following all my drawings and I hope you're leaving some comments. Oh, it's so quiet on here these days. What's going on? Huh? Everybody too scared to make a comment, probably. Please send me a comment. Say hello. Say that you love crabs or you hate crabs or you're afraid of crabs or, or you love my drawing. Or you hate my drawing. Or you think I'm a pain in the butt or something. Come and write to me and tell me. Say hello. Subscribe and see more drawings coming soon. There we are. Mr. Krabby Crab. And Timothy the Happy Fish. What more could you want for on a... Whatever day it is. <laughs> I don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, <laughs> have a beautiful day. Have fun. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.